three. So this is video number four. Where we left off, we just left Tam's shop. I've got back to my my building table, and what I'm going to do is where we had everything marked up in video three that Tam marked up and highlighted, where I should remove the wood from the airframe. I'm going to go ahead and remove the intakes that are in there and cut them up and leave about an inch to two inch for him to make a extension for the. Uh, TJ 120 millimeter HP fans that will be installing inside the Skymaster uh, F4. Uh, I'll be doing that, so let me get set up and use some tools and take the canopy off and the, the hatch here off and uh, get to, uh, down to where I'm supposed to be doing and then I'll take the jet back to Tam, remove the nose, and leave it with him so he can go ahead and do his duct work and get the fans installed and the whole nine yards. I have ordered the landing gear. I ordered the landing gear last night, so I'm hoping to see the landing gear uh, early next week sometime. So I'll be holding on to the nose and the wings and be installing the landing gear while Tam's doing his thing on the intakes. So let's get into removing some of the area so we can fit the fans and rerun inlets. Okay, okay guys, so we're here with we're going to start removing this area from the line Tam drew the other day in video number three. We also will be removing some of the area where the spars sit at. Then we'll go ahead and remove this duck using a Dremel tool. So the quickest way for me to go ahead and remove that area is so I'll be using my drill with the sander on there. Shouldn't take me nothing about not even five minutes. This will sand this area down real fast and smooth and I can get it nice and round by using this style of sander on the tip. So I've just finished Gutting everything out that Tam wanted me to sand down. See, it's a lot. It's been in there. I have to do some vacuuming now. Vacuum everything out. We have it pretty much gutted in there. You can see where he's going to be making the new duck set. Now let's go over to Tim and see what he thinks. All right, all right, you did all the work I requested you to do. Nice and clean cut. Okay, we can. Uh, I left a little bit just okay, above the that's line. That's fine. That's that's enough. Keep the fish lot strong. Okay, that's good enough. And let me see here. We need a 130 millimeter in this airplane. <laughs> this fan looks too small. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this airplane make a 2TJ one time looks so small. <laughs> but small fan with a lot of power, that's all it count. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I think 2TJ100 is required. Uh, but TJ 120, we have the power to push yeah. it, you know. We can run like 6.3 kilowatt on a new version, on a, the HV version, so that give us like uh, about uh, 14, uh, 13,000 13, watt, you know. That should fly the thing well. 6.5 kilowatt, 6.2. Yeah. Okay. Plenty of room. There's plenty of room. Let me check the... Uh, the tube come out back. Let me go ahead and take off the nose. You want me to take off the nose, right? So I might make a special tube for this project. So the tube, this is a rear exhaust tube. Sub 
something I like, but this, yeah, okay, it's fit. Tight fit. Okay. So that's keep us clean right there. Clear this bar. Can you hold like this? Let me look from the back, see how much clean we need to, uh, to adjust it to. Yeah. Hold that angle. So we have to make a special tube. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to do is I make a special tube coming out here and it will curve up a little bit. It's, it's bent up, it's curved a little bit. It will come back down. So that way, right, this is going to be higher. Yeah. It come back down, it will clear. When it gets to here, it's about 85 or 90 millimeter. So that will clear the bulkhead. It come back down right here, from there, then go to my little tube. So I have to make special tube right here to clear the bulkhead. Yes. And I hope uh, we don't have to make two pieces. I hope one piece will work for both sides. It should work for both sides because it's so, so straight, you know. Yeah. So there's no bend. So just like come out, curve up a little bit, and come down. So that will clear the, uh, the, uh, the bulkhead. Yeah, it should be an easy project. You know, it's not a big. The only thing that concerned me, the FSA is huge. Yeah. The intake was made bigger than the F uh, 120. Yeah, compared to the. Uh... <laughs> Actually, it's not that bad. Because that's the only thing that concerned me last night when I think about it. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. I think like probably 95 percent FSA. Yeah, which is okay. Yeah, I think it should be okay. Actually, let me get the, uh, the measured tape. Yeah, you can keep the nose. I don't need the nose. <laughs> <laughs> too big a project. Too much. Take too much room. You know, yeah. I had to clean up the shop last night. <laughs> yes, me and John, we clean up, put stuff away. Just like, gotta clean to make room for other project. It's definitely clean. <laughs> yeah. They even come to Tam shop, you know, work, work, work. No Planes clean. everywhere. Clean don't make money, you know. <laughs> when a shop's clean, I in trouble. That's me, I'm too, I have no work to do when I clean up the shop. But, okay, 14, actually it's 14 inch exactly around, which is pretty good, 14 inch. So it should be okay, Marvin. I think the effort should be perfect. Look, we are 14 inches. You have about 100 percent, 100 FSA. This fan, the inside diameter, yeah, you have more, or actually more than 100 percent, 520 percent FSA. That duct. That's the only thing concerned me uh, other night when uh, the I'm afraid the duct is too big, and we have to make the ramp from the front to the back. You know. So we got 14 inches, and this is uh, for 14 and a half. So um, roughly about 110 percent, 115 percent FSA, because you have to take the center body out. You know? Yeah, yeah. So um, which is okay because this is the F4 is not built to go fast. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay for you know. Yeah, I, I don't want to be in, involved with breaking the speed barrier. I just want the plane to fly nice and scale. And if you can break the speed on low power, more power to you. But you need to run high power to get the speed. You know. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's fine. So we know we have about 110% FSA for the intake, which is a little bit large if you want to go fast, but uh, for scale airplane, it should be no big deal. So the fan should have a lot of static thrust. You yeah. Know? You know what? Plus, the, the real plane, this was a tank anyway. Yeah. It wasn't super yeah. funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's a part they call Phantom the Fine Bricks. Yeah. <laughs> One motor go out, you better fly the way home. <laughs> I uh, hope we don't have one more to go out in the model because we, we ain't by the way home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Better be hoping we're up high. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to make it back. Yeah. She'll be okay. You know, when we get the ducting done, I will cut out all this damn hole, take out all the weight, and I will, look, I will go further in the back. What else I can remove the weight, I remove it out. And, um, yeah, I'm looking to what else we can, you know. I bet the next kit they laid up, they just lay a little bit lighter. This damn fiberglass is so thick, you know. Yeah, yeah. 
if they can make like uh, probably 20% lighter, this will be a good project for Twin EDF, you know. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Sky Master will. We fly the thing, show off the video, Sky Master, okay, we make it lighter for the guy who want to do the uh, Twin EDF, you know. Yeah. The size of it is nice. It's just amazing to see the size yeah. of it. So if they if they're gonna redo new kit, you know, have them do do not cut out a hole. Just have, you know, show them a picture how to cut out a former, leave the hole alone, so we have more strength right here. Yeah. So right here, you can cut all the way here. There's not anymore because you know, you, you know, there's a hole right there. This should be okay because um, we're not pulling high G like a turbine does. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It should be okay. I hate the way they do the clamp cheesy work. They should have the clamp bulk it to the foam and stuff like glue yeah, and carbon yeah, fiber. Right, yeah. I don't know why they do that. Okay, should be easy project, Marvin. Well, here you so guys let's have shoot it. for uh, Christmas. Christmas time. Christmas time. <laughs> pop the cherry. I'm going to pop the cherry for you. Okay, it's good. So it should be no problem. Well, the planes in town.